Welcome to this video on how to install a EA onto MetaTrader 4. So I had a few people asking a question as to how they can get set up. So I thought it might be helpful if I did a step-by-step -step video on how to install an EA and get it up and running. So as you can see, we are in my VPS. When I first started looking into EAs, I didn't think it was necessary to have a VPS, but because um, I didn't really want to be spending that extra money per month. But now that I've looked into it, I realize it's so much better just to have a VPS running. You know it's going to be reliable. It's always going to be up. It's, you know, it, it needs updating occasionally, but it updates at weekends when the markets are closed anyway. Uh, and you know that you, you know, if you use this on your home PC, you might lose power, you might lose internet and things like that. But when you get a reliable VPS, you know it's always going to be up and running. So, so I do have a link in the description for the one that I use is you know cheap and reliable, but I won't go on about that. The first thing to do is open up an account with a broker. And for this, I like to use Robo Forex. I just think it's it's pretty easy. Um, and you can open up real accounts, sent accounts and, and demo accounts as well. You need to check when you get the EA what sort of leverage you need. So if you need a 1 to 1,000, 1 to 500 or whatever it may be, and you need to make sure that the account opened is within the correct leverage. And once you've opened an account with whoever it may be, I just search the name of the broker followed by MT4 and you should see the download link that you're looking for. So obviously all you want to do from here is download Metric 4. Once you have downloaded it, just click next, wait for it to install, which only takes like 30 seconds and then press finish wait for it to open once it's open obviously you'll be linked to the uh, the servers that whichever one you've downloaded from whichever broker you've downloaded from so obviously as you can see i downloaded from robo forex so that's why it automatically links me to the trading servers and then you need to find the account information that you've just made so for me it was an mt4 demo pro and then from here you're going to click existing trade account and then your login information so once you've inputted that you just press finish and you should hear a sound that, that means that you've uh, logged in correct and at this point you might have some charts open because sometimes it just automatically opens some so i just like to close all of them and then from here what you need to do is you need to download the ea um you need to download the documents that you got sent over when you purchased the ea so usually you get these via email you just download them so for me i'm for this example i'm using fx scalper x and obviously when you purchase an EA, you usually get included in that a video on how to set it up. So, so if you open up which one it is that you're going to be using, and for me it's the Scalper X. And then you're looking for an EX4 file. So obviously once you've got your downloads there, I usually move this over to the side. And then go on to back onto your MT4. Go on to File. Open Data Folder. And then from here you should see MQL4. So if you open MQL4 and then open Experts, and you should see that this is where the EAs are. As you can see, there's some EX4 files in here. So if you go back into your Downloads folder, and if you copy in the EX4 that you've been sent, paste it into the MQL4 Experts folder, and then basically that's the EA already onto the platform, but you do then need to put in your license in order to make the EA work. For FX Scalper X, you actually put that into Files. So obviously we're back onto MQL4, into files, copy the license and paste it in. As you can see the license is in MQL4 then files. So the license is in there and the EA that we're running is in experts. And now what you can do is you can close all that and you can actually just refresh on your expert advisors. But what I like to do sometimes is actually like to close the platform and then reopen it in order to ensure that everything is refreshed and everything is in there. So if we close that and just reopen it again, you shouldn't have to sign in again. If when you signed in, you click save account information, it should automatically just sign you in. And you should see from here, if we open up expert advisors, you should see the scalper X is in there. So what we need to do there from there is to attach it to a chart. So I'm just going to attach it to the charts that it's recommended to run on. So one of these is Euro USD. So what I'm going to do is right click, open up chart window. Now for this particular EA, the time frame doesn't matter. As soon as you put it onto any time frame, it automatically adjusts and goes to the whichever one it wants to trade on. But for other EAs, it is important on what time frame you put it on. And if you do need to change time frames, it's just up there. So M1, M5, M15, etc. But for now, we're just going to leave it on what it was, which was the one hour. And all we're going to do from here is click and drag from FX Scalper onto the chart. And you should see this come up. Now, as you can see in the top right corner, there is a sad face because we haven't completed the setup. So that's always a good way is to know whether you've set everything up correctly, if that's sad or happy. All we need to do is go through these tabs and make sure that everything is correct. So if we go on to common and if we say allow live trading and you need to ensure that you click allow DLL imports. So allow live trading, allow DLL imports, make sure you're on long and short. 
Now the imports are the different settings that you can change. Obviously I always recommend to go with the recommended settings, whichever comes with the, whichever you get that come with the EA. Once you've got the settings in there, I just press OK. You don't really need to tweak anything with dependencies. So if you just press OK, now you can see that this might happen. Some uh, some issues come up here. So all you need to do is just press OK to them. You can see there's still got a sad face in the corner. So what we need to do is we need to go onto tools, then options, and then expert advisors. And this is where some people have a bit of an issue. They don't actually go onto expert advisors and say allow automated trading. You always need to make sure it's ticked up there as well, as well as when you as well as when you put the EA onto the charts. You also need to do this as an additional step. And again, we need to say allow DLL imports. And if we press OK, you can see that this button is now green. Now I think it has actually taken the EA off the chart. So if we just drag it back on, make sure that everything else was how it was press OK. Now you can see that we do have a smiley face in the top corner and I also get this alert. Not every EA has this alert, not all of them come up saying whether it's been successful or not. Uh, you can usually tell whether it has just by the smiley face in the corner. So as you can see for me this is running correctly and it has opened a trade so that's why I know everything's okay. So I think some of the issues that people have is when they install the EA and onto the chart and do everything that I did, um, but then they're not actually going onto tools and then options because this is just as important as doing it on the EA itself. And you need to make sure that allow automated trading and allow DL DLL import is on there as well. So as you can see, it did change from the one hour time frame to the M15. It's not always gonna change to that. It changes to whatever it finds most appropriate. But like I say, there are some EAs that need you to attach it to a specific time frame, but it will state that on in the instructions when you buy the EA. So my recommended settings for now is just to have it on one chart if you're on less than $1,000, which this account is. So if it goes over $1,000, then we can attach it to another chart. And for that, we're literally just gonna follow the exact same steps. So say if I was gonna do it on GU, we just right click, open the chart window. And then from there, we just drag it on, make sure all the recommended settings are correct. Make sure long and short, enable alerts if you want them, allow live trading, allow DLL imports, and then we will just press okay on that. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, I did have a few questions as to how to get the EAs up and running. So that's why I just wanted to quickly go through this. Um, if it hasn't been helpful and you still have got more questions, just let me know. And I could make a follow up video or I'll just get back to you or whatever it may be. But if you just follow the steps that I went through, hopefully you should get up and running. Thanks for watching.